countdown to the 2021 NFL Draft uh, weeks away and a former Central Georgia prep standout a step closer to achieving his dream of possibly playing in the league. Marvin James caught up with Perry native Giles Amos and talked about the winding road to becoming an NFL Draft prospect. I'll give you a look at my, my view right now. I'm in Waikiki, enjoying the, enjoying the view, man. It's awesome. Giles Amos was a long way from his hometown of Perry while preparing for the NFL Draft a week ago, playing in the Hula Bowl, a postseason college football all-star game held annually in Hawaii. You know, it's kind of cool just to reflect back on like, just my journey to how, how I've gotten here and getting the opportunity to compete for a spot in the NFL. Giles was a star triple threat athlete for Westfield, helping the Hornets win back-to-back -back state football titles in 2013 and 14. He wanted to continue his career playing football, but the chances seemed slim. I remember being a, a skinny, uh, lanky high school uh, football player, and I was shadowing you at uh, 13 WMAZ. You know, looking back at my senior year where I didn't even have any scholarship offers. The road travel for Giles wasn't easy. After high school, he was awarded a preferred walk-on opportunity at the University of Alabama. Not seeing any playing time early, but was a part of an SEC championship team and even a national championship season. But Giles wasn't satisfied. He continued to work hard, and the reserve tight end ultimately earned a scholarship. Going against the best competition every day, I don't want to say it makes it easy, but when you go against other people, it makes it easier. His playing time at Alabama was limited, so he decided to grad transfer to Arkansas State, his final year of eligibility to give himself a better chance of playing more quality minutes. His plan worked. He caught 15 passes for nearly 200 yards and two touchdowns while also being named to the third team all Sunbelt Conference. It's important to win, but at the same time, like the day it stops being fun is the day it's over, you know? And, and, you know, I had so much fun this year. It was awesome. And now as he prepares to make an impression with the NFL, Giles says he feels optimistic about the future, despite his odds. I, I love being the underdog because that's all I've ever been my whole life. And going forward, he offers this advice to others striving for the next level to just see it through. Everybody wants somebody who's going to fight rather than run. And so I, I just tell people, you know, stick with it. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. Uh, nothing worth having is. Of course, we're back on the campus of Westfield and Perry, where it all started for Giles Amos. But currently, he is back on campus in Tuscaloosa preparing for his pro day and ultimately the NFL draft. But whenever he's back home, he said he always makes his way to Westfield because he'll forever be a Hornet at heart. In Perry, Marvin James, 13 WMAZ Sports. NFL draft takes place in Cleveland April 29th through May 1st.